degree of this. What do we mean by a frame of reference? A frame of reference is a collection of the missing instruments you can see. And you can visualize by the help of the three yardsticks, x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis. So in the classical 3D X configuration with a clock. So it's simply the place you can say, what is the frame of reference? It is a place, I think. It is a place or it is a space from where you are making the observations. It is usually consists of all the spatial dimensions like X, Y, Z plus a clock to measure the to measure the time dimension. Consider for example consider for example you are standing on a railway platform and waiting for my arrival. You are on the platform and you are waiting for my arrival. You see my train is arriving at the station and I am I am waving my hand. So in this case so in this case we consider two frame two reference frames. One reference frame is the platform and the other reference frame is the moving train. With my reference frame with respect to you with my reference plane, with my reference frame, with respect to you, you mean the platform. I am in motion. But with my reference frame, with respect to me, like the my train, I am not moving. Because uh, when we look inside the train compartment, everything seems to be at rest that I am not moving with respect to the train, okay, with respect to that frame which is inside the train, okay, I am not moving at all and I am at rest. Suppose, uh, now think that, uh, suppose I am sitting, okay, I am sitting in a, on a train moving at a constant velocity of 100 miles per hour and I look through the window and I see a person standing ahead of the train. He seems me, he seems me approaching him at 100 mile per hour. But I also see him approaching me at 100 mile per hour. The, then which one of us is uh, truly stationary and which one of us is truly moving, okay? You may think because it, it was in your mind that, uh, that that guy, that person is standing on the ground is uh, stationary because it was in my mind already. But remember that he is standing, he is standing on the earth which itself is rotating about uh, its axis and while simultaneously revolving around the sun. And sun is also not stationary, it is moving within the galaxy. Galaxy like the Milky Way. But when the Milky Way galaxy is also not stationary, because its gravitational, you know, interaction, its gravitational interaction with the other galaxies. And you know, and this logic can go on forever. What is the conclusion? The, con the conclusion is that no such thing is absolutely at rest, which is to say that uh, there does not exist 
a universally stationary reference frame because everything is moving with respect to somewhat uh, with respect to another. So there does not exist a uniformly stationary reference frame which all other reference frame are measured against. So if there is no such thing as universal rest, then there is also such things as there is no such things as uniform velocity. Only the velocities which are there are relative velocities. The only physically relevant thing is that the relative velocity between me and the other person is 100 mile per hour. Neither of us, neither of us is more or less stationary than the other. Okay. On the other hand, acceleration is absolute, you know. If there is an acceleration, if there is an acceleration, or technically that is called the non-inertial frame. Without acceleration, the frame is reference. If there is acceleration, that is the non-inertial frame. And in non-inertial frame, you will feel the acceleration when you close your eyes. Example would be simple. You are sitting on a chair, then you, you, you feel you are on weight because of the pull of the earth. Okay, sitting, you know, in acceleration, sitting in accelerating car, you know, sitting in accelerating car, you feel you are on weight as well as the acceleration of the car also. And then going in a circle, there will be centripetal acceleration and then you will feel definitely the centrifugal force. That means we are in a gravitational field, such as uh, on or near the earth. The only two way to feel no acceleration, you know, because, uh, you know, the gravitational field is everywhere and that is pull is everywhere, that is the force of gravity. But even then you can, uh, there are two ways to feel no acceleration. And one is that, that, that to be in a free fall. You only feel the actual acceleration. You only feel the actual, actual acceleration, that is the force of gravity when you are actually standing, sitting, lying on the ground. Since the ground would be, would be applying a force onto you, okay, ground would be applying a force onto you called the normal force, which is opposite in direction and equal in magnitude to the force of your own weight. From this point of view, and inertial frame is one, you know, but inertial frame is one in which you can close your eyes and you do not feel any force or any acceleration, you know, that is inertial. In other words, inertial frame is one in which you feel the weightlessness, weightless. Now, how it is possible? You know, in a gravitational field, in a gravitational field, inertial frame is freely falling. In the absence and, okay, in the gravitational field, inertial frame is freely falling. Because in a freely falling situation, we do not feel any weight. And in the absence of the gravitational field, the inertial frame is just stationary or at the constant velocity. Okay. 
Now, secondly, you know the gravitational field due to the massive object is not constant throughout the space. For example, there is a field around the Earth, gravitational field and intensity of the field gone decreasing as we move away from the you know, surface of the Earth. So the field around a spherical mass decreases by the square of the distance from the center when it follows the inverse square law. If I go skydiving with my friend and we jump from the plane at, at the same spot, then neglecting the air friction, we will moving we, uh, we will be moving at a constant uh, velocity relative to one another. Okay, no doubt we will be in free fall and as well as we will be moving, you know, with, with zero velocity with respect to one another. The relative velocity will be zero. So in that case, you know, the my frame and my friend frame will be the inertial with respect to one another. Now, on the other hand, if my friend jumps out a plane from a very, very far distance from me, higher than me, okay, because uh, higher than me, there the acceleration due to gravity will be somewhat lesser. Then, I would be accelerating towards the earth slightly faster than him because uh, I will feel more gravity uh, as compared to him. This means we would, we are, we are freely falling, but we would no longer be falling, you know, at a constant uh, relative velocity with respect to one another, which means that. Uh, uh, we are not uh, inertial uh, relative to each other. We will not be inertial relative to each other in this case, despite of the fact that uh, uh, we are both in a free fall situation. We will be in the free fall situation even then. So in general, the two frames are only inertial relative to one another if they are located in a region with the constant gravitational field. This is very important. So remember, inertial frame is what? Inertial frame is a, you know, you can say it is a space, it is a place. Like uh, with the special coordinates, special coordinates x, y, z with the time clock, where you do the measurements. And uh, the space, if either it is at rest or it is moving with constant velocity, you know, problem will be the inertial. But if uh, the space is such that place is such that which is in acceleration or in retardation, that will be the non-inertial frame, and you will feel that uh, the, that forces acting on uh, the body or on the forces in non-inertial. But no for me, if I say a question, what about the earth? Earth is inertial or non-inertial, and it comes back in my hand.